have the sub-assembly, we have the assembly, we have all the parts built. The next thing we're going to show you guys is how to do the exploded view. Alright, so pay attention please. For the exploded view, we're going to use it using the presentation file. So we're going to do close, we're going to save it, press new, and now we're going to go to, not the drawing right away, we're going to go to the presentation file. And we're going to press create. Now as soon as you do it, it automatically gives you a pop-up saying, okay, what would you like to use? In this case here, I'm going to use my, my completed one. So I'm going to use the OHAN coupling. I have two files. I have my sub-assembly as one and my OHAN coupling as the other one. So we're going to use the completed one. Press open. And now you notice I have my complete project here. Any questions? No, because we just started. So now that I have this, what can we do? We're going to use what's called tweak components. So now we're going to use what's called tweak components right over here. And now watch, I'm going to grab my whole sub-assembly that I did before. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to grab sub-assembly number one. In this case, it's number one and it happens to be the one that's in front of me. So I'm going to press this one first and it's going to grab all of them at the same time. So now I could do it, like it even tells me my duration, so I could do a video for it. If I want to change it and say, not two seconds, let's do five seconds, and I grab it in the direction I want to go, like so. I could even fix it into a fixed number of distance. In this case here, I'm just going to put it at an even three, all right? And it's going to take duration, it's going to take five seconds to do it. That's one. I took the sub-assembly. Now, from that sub-assembly, I go back, I press OK. Now I'm going to go tweak again, and I'm going to grab assembly number two, the one behind it. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to grab the arrow, and I'm going to pull it back, like so. I could type it in three as well. So now that they're equally spaced. Does it have to be equally spaced? No, but it does make it look much nicer if it's proportional to each other. Don't spread it out too much because you've got to put this on a sheet. If you go stretch it so far apart, when you put it on a sheet, it's going to be so far apart. So keep it so enough so you could see that, the, that there are different parts to it. Now, what can I do is I could do the same way I built it. I could take out the key first if I want to make a little bit more sense. I could grab the key, tweak again, make sure the key is selected, and I could pull it backwards into the drawing like so. I could say accept. I could go to the other key. I go the same way I did before. Tweak. I could open up sub-assembly number two and click on the key over here. Go back and I could move it backwards so you could see that the key is there. Right? Then I could press OK. I get out of there if I want to or click on another piece and now I'm going to grab the shaft on uh, the, sh <coughs> the shaft on part one. I'm going to go and I'm going to pull it outwards like this. I could pull it out a bit like this, then I could go back to the flange, and I could pull him a little bit forward as well. So I could see that key behind it. And I could do the same mentality to the other side. I could grab the key first or the shaft first. I'm going to do the same one where I grab the shaft first. Again, I use the arrow so I go along the z-axis. There's one. Then I could go back to the flange, use the arrows again, and I could pull it out like so. I could press, get out a tweak. Press OK. And you notice now, I'm still stuck in this for some reason. Press OK. And I have my exploded view. Was it hard? No. I could rotate them if I want to. I could do whatever I want. If I want, I think it even recorded while I was doing it. If I press play, you're going to notice it's going to take the five seconds that I asked it to do to separate one part. Then it's going to take another five seconds to do the other part. This is a little bit like my animation. Then it's to take whatever number I put. I think I did five seconds for the key or a couple seconds. There's the other key over here. Then I pulled out the shaft. Then I went and I pulled out the flange. Then I went to the other side. I pulled out the key, not the key, the, um, the shaft. And then I pulled out the flange again. All right. And as you notice, this was it. I pulled out my exploded view. It's still playing. If I go look at the tweaks, I could see all the tweaks I did and how many inches I moved every one. I moved tweak one, three inches. Then three inches, 2.126. If I don't like that random number I chose, 
I could right click and say edit tweak and say you know what put it at 2. I could go to this one here edit tweak and type in 2 also so that they're equally spaced. So you want to go if you have OCD and you want to make everything exactly the same you could do all that I don't mind it looks nice and clean. We see how I did that now that that's done and I position everything I have my assembly completed. So we see here it's my exploded view. Any questions? If I want to collapse them, oh, that's this children. Wait a second. There should be a way I could create a scene. I could create the scene if I want to save it. Whatever I want to do, I can use and make the video, publish it. I could create my own drawing video, capture photos. Whatever I want to do, I'm able to do all that inside this option. Once I am done, however, I'm going to do file save as and I could write Ohan coupling exploded view. All right. I wrote that and I pressed save. And now I have my exploded view, I have my parts, I have my assembly and everything. All that's left to do, let me close this, is to make my drawing sheet. And that's it. And after that, we are almost done with this mini project we've been working on. Is it hard? No. Do you do I want you guys to save the video? What you're doing, you could save the video. I didn't save the video because it would take too long on my computer right now to be watching you guys watch me record a video. You can do it. It's good. On your CVs, on anything you work on, it looks nice because it shows that you know how to use the softwares. You're promoting yourself. Now that I have that correct, the next thing we could work on are the drawing sheets, which I will make a new separate video for you to make it a lot easier to understand.